good morning. Uh, today uh, we are doing our first class on dairy and food process and products technology, right? Now, the, from the name itself, you see, uh, food is a very vast subject, very very vast subject. If you go to the history, then maybe you will see that in couple of decades back, this was originally clubbed with chemical engineering. Now, after that, when food people used to know more about it, then they thought that let this food be segregated, food be separated from chemical, because chemical itself is a big and that was also expanding. So, from the umbrella of chemical engineering, this food has come out. Now, over the several decades, food also has expanded and I do not say that tomorrow food will be uh, disintegrated to some other area, but yes associated many things are also there like microbiology that is altogether a separate subject, then your uh, processing itself that comes under both mechanical, chemical in many, many places. So, depending on what you are handling, what you are doing, your course umbrella is accordingly selected. Then the question comes very first that where to start and where to end. Obviously, because what we will do in every courses, the same preamble is not liked by you. Many of you may undergo different courses or similar courses, then it becomes monotony for you. That is why there are something to start with. Since under this MOOC, this type of course is the first, I presume and I, I have not given any, in, uh, you have seen when you have uh, uh, registered yourself, that time you have seen the course content, course material. I will also show you uh, once again here. There, when I, we have given, we have not given any prerequisite. The reason being that if you start where, where to start, uh, if writing a, writing a sentence, if you start from uh, learning from A, B, then there will be no end. Your objective is to write the sentence. So, it is supposed that you know A, B, etcetera how to write and then you know the meaning of the uh, sentence, the expression of the sentence, then only you can write. Here also, we would like to bring in some preliminary things for your understanding, so that in the long run when the course is uh, almost uh, halfway or almost to the end, you do not have the problem that these were not known, these were uh, to be told etcetera. So, some preliminary things definitely I will try to describe. Then it comes, why should we take this course? What is the, uh, what is, what is the object? What is the, what is the purpose? If you, do, you did not take this or register in this course, what you would have lost? That is the fundamental question coming, that if I do not take, then fine, I do not lose anything. But if I take, I gain what? that I know beforehand, right. So, here it is dairy and food and in this I would like to mention here itself that normally we segregate food in two parts. One is the solid or semi-solid food 
another is the liquid or semi liquid food right obviously both cannot be under the same umbrella like if many of your friends are sitting together and watching this class then it cannot be thus all of you have the identical uh, shirt or pant or similar kind of thing so that it fits everybody equally uh, to the same extent to the same level of accuracy so in that case definitely you have to make make it according to your requirement according to your uh, choice according to your um, liking all these will dictate which shirt which pant you will wear and which will be by your friends right so in that case we can say that we divide food into two parts one in the liquid food and another in the solid food and another thing which is also in the course in the headline itself means course our um, uh, topic itself the subject topic itself it is there that process is there right so when we are talking about process and when we are talking about products they are all again altogether different yes it is through process we arrive at the product right and that that is what we are then the question comes why should we do the processing if we don't do the processing how does it matter let it be like that is it like that i give a small example which you come across every day right at your home you ask your mother you ask your parents or senior people senior persons who handles it every day that they buy milk every day more or less every houses milk is one of the product which we consume right now when the milkman has given or if you have bought from the market pouches whatever now nowadays commercially uh, available in earlier days they these were in bottles with 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 the advent of time with the advent of technologies things are getting changed so uh, there was when bottles were there some good things were there similarly bad thing was that it, they were breakable so handling was problem so the manufacturer then changed it to polythene again some day it will come that this is not suitable or some problem or natural hazard or some other so then again it will be shifted to some other right it is changing it is, it cannot be static that universal all through it will be identical is there cannot be such kind of thing then this once you process and then you get the product that means you must know also the processing you must also know the product right so until and unless these things you know this is a small uh, ambient in the entire uh, domain of the food right it is a very very small part in the entire domain of food in one in one subject everything cannot be taught in the in the earlier classes also not in my class i am referring to your earlier class when you were in schools it was not possible that all the things may be whether it is english or mathematics or physics everything would be told in one year or one class like that right so the purpose of this course is to make you aware that what you should consider as safe product what you should consider as palatable product how you will keep these products how you will process these products and how 
long you can keep it that is a fundamental question that how long I can keep it. I gave this example of milk and this milk if they were not processing in after they brought it from the market or the milkman supplied since then. Then now it is summer in many places. So, typically when it is peak summer this problem is more severe that the milk gets curdled, milk gets spoiled, right. In spite of, in spite of your best wishes, you could not manage to stop that unless you have taken due care of processing. What processing did you do there or did they do there? They have taken it to a pan and then heated it right and it is not that once you heat and that is for all you have you have you ask your mummy that once she has boiled it in the morning in the summer peak summer if it is not kept in the refrigerator or somewhere in cold ambience then in the night if it is peak summer i am again referring that means outside temperature is very high maybe 40 45 somewhere it goes to even 50. So, there in the morning it was boiled and in the evening the same thing may happen the food, uh, milk might have gone rotten or my, might have been spoiled. It is not no more uh, I mean uh, acceptable for your consumption. That means it is not that you have processed once and that is for that is once processing is for lifetime. No. So, everything has certain plus or certain minus that means, some insight we have to come to know then only we will be able to detect then only we will able to understand what kind of processing, what kind of things we will be doing, right. Since I have taken this typical one as I have told that the students should come to know that why should they take the course, right beforehand. Unless you are, you are you, uh, compelled to take the course, you will not, but if you love the course, definitely you will have lot of, lot of interest to know more and more, right. So, to create that interest in you, I take this class as the platform where I tell in this in this typical course, let me go to the next uh, see the you have seen in your in your course uh, outline when you registered obviously you have seen a so, lot of things some basic principles are told some basic principles are there some uh, laws are also there some physical or chemical changes during processing or structure of the material how they are that is also there then why we as I said that milk example, why it got spoiled, right that also should be known. Otherwise, uh, why should you uh, learn that if you cannot tell your mummy that mummy do not keep it outside for such a long time, right. Do not keep it outside for such a long time. And one more thing I tell you it is not only for food, right. It is nowadays it is for any whether it is prepared food or you brought it from outside. Now, it is lot of ready to eat foods are available all over right or processed foods are also available all over, but any food it is recommended that this heating business unless, unless it is not to be heated like ice cream is a product which you cannot heat. Right? It has to be consumed in the cold only because if you if you heat ice cream it will melt 
and you will not get the you may get a little taste you will not get also because ice cream uh, as it is cream as well as air both are there right both together so unless you have both together the you don't enjoy it you don't get the feel of it so to have that feeling you have to have in the cold ice cream so that is not again the example of this milk we are coming back that what are the microbial changes what are the things which are responsible for spoiling the milk which mummy had he mummy had uh, boiled in the morning but in the evening when you came back after the classes after after the days play and everything and if mummy wanted to give you back that part of that milk uh, she, she saw that it got spoiled so you must be able to tell her that mummy you should not have done this or seniors right so you learn lot from your home also it is not home science but this is science science is right from your home and whenever you are able to convert it into commercial level then it comes to the level of engineering so science when it is applied applied when it is uh, made to commercial level then it comes the engineering because then you have to tell because mummy had done it in a small pan of maybe 1 liter 2 liter but you assume you see that you have become a owner of say 1 lakh liter of milk a day then obviously that 1 liter 2 liter 10 liter pans will not help you maybe the process is same that what mummy had done you will also be doing but you need to know now how to handle such a huge quantity of the raw milk or basic liquid milk right so these things we must be aware of and some more like common dairy processes like separation of cream you you take every day butter no bread butter jam jelly marmalade these things you take every day i am not saying everything will come under this under the purview of this course but as a preamble we can say that when you are taking jam jelly marmalade in the bread as well you are taking butter in the bread butter is a milk product whereas jam jelly they are not milk product right B- milk which we referred that was uh, spoiled because of the outside temperature being so high summer peak summer right but butter you don't keep it outside but because butter at room temperature it is solid but if the room means around 20 30 degree if it is beyond that then it starts melting it is also melting so it loses its solidity and comes to liquid then it will be very difficult for you to keep it so you must know which one to be kept where how for how long how long it will stay etc so these things if you don't know beforehand if you don't know then you will not be able to make the commercial things successful you will not be able to understand how and where what you are doing right so this course will help you to understand lot of both microbiology physical science chemical science uh, and some processing some laws food laws by which because i don't know whether you have seen you are you are aware of uh, regular uh, i mean uh, this media media in many cases many places it is being shown that artificial milk is also being prepared 
and that to in almost in the very high scale of level right so those milk are not eatable drinkable right those milk are not drinkable it should not be it is hard that in some big big stations that uh, tea which are being served they are made from milk which has no quantity not a single drop of natural milk entire thing is manufactured so those are you must be able to also identify and tell that this is the law you cannot do this right you can fool people there is a word there is a saying that you can fool all the people once you can fool some people for many times but you cannot fool all the people all the time right so you may be one of them that who will tell no you are not supposed to do because this is we have come to know that these are the laws these are the statutory uh, laws where you will come to uh, know that if you are caught if you are if you are if you are found to do such unfair means then you will be uh, penalized you may be sent to jail so these things you must know and then you must understand you must know then only you can convince that this is bad and that is good right some process technology for manufacturing of some of the products like evaporated milk condensed milk you you have come to uh, come across at home also that uh, many many uh, milk products every now and then milk products are at home coming uh, every 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 other day you may have some or other kind of thing but earlier in our childhood Uh, since that time the production of milk might not have been so high as it is right uh, korean sahib as you have come to know that korean he had made that gujarat the samul uh, cooperative then only that was a white uh, revolution right and lot of milk was made available to people right but yes during our childhood that kind of milk was not available and uh, market milk like this today available every almost in every other shop so there it was not that maybe some places from where it would have come you have to go and stand in the queue and you might get or you might not get some quantity so the alternative was so condensed milk in our uh, still we remember that uh, condensed milk yeah is very palatable when you take it but obviously seniors will not allow you to take just directly because from that condensed milk you can make some normal milk in a in a bigger way or you can use them for some other purpose right some dried milk some malted milk some infant baby food ice cream cheese butter fermented milk uh indigenous dairy products these are some of the products which will be dealing in this course also uh, then we will also look into some methods or procedures that how you will be sampling i still i still remember that when i was in uh, an uh, commercial uh commercial industry say ice cream uh there every day the milk used to come in 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 big big tanks maybe 25 liters or 50 liters tank capacity from different parts right and those people who were i was of course not uh, directly in the associated with that but those who were in the in the in the quality control so they used to attend those and they used had to decide 
on the platform, on the on the place where it was huge, maybe hundreds of such tanks have come, and they have to tell, yes, these are all okay, or some of them are bad. Now imagine without any virtually, without any uh, help of, without any help of any uh, instruments, is it possible for you to tell, yes, this is bad, that is good. But any instrument if you use that will also take some time, but you have to decide almost within. So, when they are coming, they are coming in bulk. So, hundreds of cans are coming and lying and you have to decide either it will go inside to the industry or it will be thrown out, the supplier will take it back because of bad milk. So, this decision those quality control people have to take. So, how to do? So, there must be some way those are called platform tests. So, those are also to be known. Then some technological processes for industrial manufacture of foods of commercial importance from plant and animal origin. Right? Maybe subsequently we will start when the regular course after the preamble. Then we will see that as I said we divide food in two parts primarily as liquid food or as solid food and then also in the solid food we tell either it is from animal origin or from the plant origin. right? So, again you are making two umbrellas, one from plant origin, another from animal origin. So, unless you know them, you will not be able to decide what to do or not to do. Then out of the <coughs> plant origin, it could be cereals, pulses, um, fruits, vegetables or animal origin, maybe fish, meat like that right then once you are once you are with all these materials then it comes how you will keep it yes at home mummy has kept it in a small container and may be kept in the refrigerator nowadays majority of the people do have refrigerator at home right most of the people who can afford of course it is also has it has to be affordable. So, those who can afford do have also uh, refrigerator. So, mummy has take, kept it in the refrigerator in a small quantity, but if you have to do it in a large scale maybe in, in tens of thousands of kgs or uh, liters then how to store them or in small quantity also you have to shift it from your place, you have the processing place at your place to maybe 1000 kilometers away from there. How to keep it? How to send it? How to store it? So, these are to be known. So, those are we are coming to packaging material, some properties of the packaging material, some principles of, for filling, sorting all these machines. Then whether it is gas packaging or atmospheric packaging, all these will come up and definitely we will take care in the due course of the proceeding of the course. Right? I simply, uh, I simply request you that please make sure that you are going through the course regularly and whatever questions you will have, you, are, you will be free to uh, ask us through some portal that will be given to you and there will be every week there will be some questionnaire and you have to answer them and try to answer them yourself right? without taking the help of books and other helps yourself from your um, good self if you can reply them then obviously, that becomes a good thing and you can then 
be sure yes i have learned a little okay so hoping you all the best so let us conclude our preamble today here itself next class onwards we will be proceeding towards the main course of this subject okay thank you